abundance of wildlife, not just monkeys, that put on a daily show for the guests. During breakfast, you may even be entertained by a baby sloth. Costa Verde offers experiences that you will certainly never forget. After spending several days in Manuel Antonio, I'm restless again and ready to move on to my next location. So we pack our bags and head north, this time to Eradora, just north of Hako. The ride from Manuel Antonio is beautiful and tranquil, but as beautiful as the scenery is, I know that the best is yet to come, and it's only about 45 minutes north of Manuel Antonio. I'm already anxious to arrive at our next stop because I've anticipated returning ever since I left last year. See, we're on our way to what I consider the most spectacular hotel, boutique or otherwise, in Costa Rica. Its name is Via Caletas. Just 35 rooms, suites and villas spread out over a mountaintop looming nearly 1,200 feet above the Pacific Ocean and a tropical rainforest. Via Caletas is a jewel, a treasure, a masterpiece that every visitor to Costa Rica should experience. What first brings most people to this mystical place is its vantage point, even as we climb the one mile long road from sea level eventually to the hotel's perch, you will be compelled, as we are, to stop and film the view along the way. Once you arrive at the top, if you are anywhere near the hour of sunset, forget about checking in. Head straight up to the amphitheater, where I guarantee you will find the rest of the guests watching an awe-inspiring sunset. As one guest once told me as we all sat silently in awe, this is better than church. What we find likewise amazing about Via Caletas is the attention that is paid to every minute detail to create and maintain an ethereal mood. But the creator of Via Caletas goes beyond the everyday tight ship standards that one comes to expect from every five-star hotel. He has taken ambiance to the ultimate level. He personally handpicks and approves even the music that is played throughout the hotel, which, coupled with the rainforest and the ocean and sky views, has an incredibly powerful emotional impact on guests. Heralded as one of the top five romantic places to stay in the world, you simply must visit Via Caletas. Well, Monsieur Ru, we decided it is high time that all of us get to meet the creator of Via Caletas. I always work as a, an interior designer, or in France or abroad. I did many projects in, uh, in England, in London, in, uh, in Italy, in Switzerland, in uh, some Arab country also. I work uh, in Bahrain, Kuwait, and uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Morocco, and Egypt. You know, m mostly that the, the country where I work. To talk about the architecture, it's, uh, we call it uh, Tropical Victorian. It's a mix uh, style that you can find everywhere in Costa Rica, all the Caribbean island and the south of United States. It's a mix soup, it's a mix uh, of European style with a touch of Oriental. It's a mix from English, French and uh, Hollandaise style with uh, perhaps some touch of Indies which is a fashion in the 19th century in England and uh, or in all the south of the uh, United States, like in Louisiana. In Via Caletas, we have a beautiful infinity pool. It's uh, very well known. Many people uh, come to, 
to the sunset and uh, to Via Caleta just for the infinity pool. It's 350 meters above the sea level, and which is approximately a little bit less than 1,200 uh, feet, and it's incredible. Any time is a good time when you're spending it at Via Caletas. The Via Caleta gift shop has authentic looking pre-Columbian reproductions available, as well as fine jewelry designed by local artisans. When you are at Via Caletas, you are close to heaven. As difficult as it is to leave Via Caletas, it is once again time to pack my bags. Between Manuel Antonio and Via Caletas, We've spent nearly a week on the beautiful, warm Pacific beaches of Costa Rica. This time I'm ready for a change, or I guess I should say a drastic change. So let's head to another magical but distinctly different area of Costa Rica, the Monte Verde Lodge and the Monte Verde Cloud Forest Reserve. Up to this point, the roads have been great. You'll definitely need a 4x4 for this trip. The route from this point until you arrive at Santa Elena it's a combination of gravel, stone, and dirt. But a little bit of rough road is a small price to pay for the adventure you are about to experience. The views at Via Caletas are mesmerizing, but you will be literally blown away by the views as you head to the Tilleron Mountain Range and the Monte Verde Lodge, where we'll be sleeping at nearly 5,000 feet. The entire drive to the lodge from the Las Juntas turnoff is picturesque as we look back on the Nicoya Peninsula in the shimmering silver waters of the Pacific. Arriving at the lodge, you will notice that the change in weather is dramatic. We've just gone from 90 degrees Fahrenheit to barely 60 degrees in less than half a day. That roaring fire in the lodge not only adds to the ambiance, but it also provides some much needed warmth. This beautiful classic lodge possesses a European influence and is an excellent base to take advantage of the many tours provided by Costa Rica expeditions. After our exciting journey to Monte Verde, be sure to catch dinner at the Monte Verde Lodge restaurant. As I sat in the dining room, I soon came to understand that the lodge was a melting pot for nature lovers from all over the world, as the dining room and bar area were filled with sounds of guests speaking French, German, and Dutch. Everything, it seemed. But English. Both Costa Rica expeditions and the Monte Verde Lodge were founded by one of the pioneers of the Costa Rica tourism industry, Michael Kay. And so we decided to do something that would be, um, as it turns out, sort of postmodern. That is, mix a whole lot of different idioms, but still have this idea that this is a place where it can be cold and windy. So a lot is centered around the fireplace in the bar area and dining room area, and a lot is centered around uh, the hot tub, the, the jacuzzi. Maybe from another spot later, so we turn After the lights dinner, off for a little bit. Costa Rica Expeditions has booked us on the guided night tour of the Monte Verde Reserve. You won't believe what creatures come out at night. We're very lucky we may get to find uh, a slot on the way. So besides the slots, uh, once in a while we also get to point out snakes in here. So that will be very nice. Uh, tarantulas, tarantulas, they actually chew out a knife. But if we bash you, well, that would be something serious. <laughs> I think she's got babies in the back. If you could see some. Wow, she's big. And so in 1978, I came to Costa Rica looking for world-class whitewater rafting rivers. And because of things I'd heard in the topography, I had a feeling they would be here. And I found some of the best in the world. So I decided to stay and start a whitewater rafting company. Costa Rica Expeditions provides guide services throughout Costa Rica, from individual tours of all the national parks and waterways, to comprehensive full-time professional guides who will literally pick you up at any of the country's airports and accompany you, providing personal guide and chauffeur services 
24 hours a day.